a very good morning to all my students we are back with our social studies class and today we will be studying about one of the planet which is known as a unique planet can you guess which planet i'm talking about it is our earth i'm talking about our earth okay so today we will be studying about our earth why life exists on earth and we'll also study about the earth's natural satellite that is the moon okay so we will be studying about it in detail now planets planets are heavenly bodies that move around the sun they do not have their own light and heat okay they reflect the light of the sun so planets they don't have their own light they reflect the light of the sun there are eight planets that is mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune okay each planet moves around the sun on its path that is called orbit okay you can also say revolves around the sun on its path that is called orbit fine now have a look here i have drawn sun earth and moon model here okay now look at this planet this is earth it looks like a round ball from the space it is not a perfect ball as it bulges at the equator now this is the equator portion it bulges at the equator and is flat at the poles okay to so this portion it is a little flat and it is bulged at the equator portion this is the equator portion understood it is spherical in shape the earth is called unique planet okay so earth is the only planet which is called as unique planet now we will understand why is it called an unique planet because it has air water and sunshine to support life so the earth is only one planet that supports life different living beings like pla plants animals and human beings live on earth the earth takes 365 one fourth days to complete one revolution okay so the earth revolves around the sun and it takes 365 one fourth days or you may also say 365 days plus 6 hours one fourth one fourth of 24 hours is actually 6 hours isn't it so so 365 days plus 6 hours it takes to complete one revolution around the sun understood the earth moves around the sun on an imaginary line you may say imaginary path called orbit okay so this imaginary line actually there is no such line okay we call it imaginary line that we imagine that there is a line or there is a path on which the earth revolves around the sun so that imaginary line or imaginary path we call it orbit understood now students can you see the distance between the earth and the sun okay now the earth is neither too far from the sun nor it is very near to the sun as a result the temperature on earth is suitable for living beings to live as it is neither too hot nor too cold on earth can you see the thin layer that i have drawn here can you see a thin layer a very thin layer can you see this thin layer that i have drawn around the earth this is called atmosphere okay this is called atmosphere the atmosphere or the blanket of air has gases that support life for example oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide okay so this atmosphere okay it's 
it's kind of a blanket that covers the earth that supports life because oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide are present there that supports life so i have drawn a thin layer to show that this is the atmosphere now when we look at the earth what we see that the earth appears like it appears like blue in color it looks like a blue planet why because earth has more water than land and water supports life on earth okay so earth is the only one planet which has water okay and that supports life on earth the, it is therefore known as blue planet now we will study about satellites the word satellite means a companion satellites are heavenly bodies that move around the planets in other word they are the companions of planets now there are two types of satellites one is natural satellite and the other is man made satellite okay the moon can you see the moon here the moon is a natural satellite of the earth okay like planets they do not have light of their own and shine with the help of the sun so actually moon does not have a light of its own and it reflects the light of the sun so the light of the sun falls on the moon and that light it reflects towards the earth so the moon has no light of its own understood and moon revolves around the earth because moon is the natural satellite of the earth so it revolves around the earth understood class and there are some man made satellites which we human make and there are natural satellites so natural satellite is the moon that revolves around the earth on its fixed path okay so today we have studied about sun earth and moon we have studied about how earth revolves around the sun why life exists on earth and we have also studied about the only one satellite only one natural satellite of the earth that is the moon hope i have made this concept clear thank you class